Hi, I'm Jared. Um, I'm joined here by Ellie, Andrew, Aaron, Will, and Alora. We're going to discuss our mechatronics project, which was a line following obstacle avoiding robot to compete in a competition with group three. So one of the main outcomes of the class was to learn about signal conditioning. And this was um, mainly used in the ultrasonic distance sensor we chose for our robot but we didn't actually implement it within the code. This is because of the very close um, values from average to instantaneous velocity when implementing the moving average filter. The closeness is due to the short delay when um, testing the distance given by the ultrasonic distance sensor. And because this delay was so short, it gave the close values, which is why we didn't necessarily need to condition the signals we were reading. Uh, we use an Ar uh, Arduino Uno to control the systems and elements of the robot. Uh, its pins were used to control an H bridge uh, and the various sensors that were used. Uh, we use the transducer sensors on the next slide. Uh, we use the QRE reflective line sensor to detect the and determine the course that it needs to go on. And an ultrasonic distance sensor was used to, to make sure it avoided any obstacle that was in front of it and did not collide. For the electronic measurements, we measured the values from each sensor in a different way. Uh, the reflective line sensors were analog sensors, so they output a voltage for an range from zero to five volts. And then we used the built-in analog to digital converter on their Arduino to get a digital range of zero to 1,023. And then we took this value and experimentally compared uh, white versus black reflective surfaces, similar to in lab. And then we could use, know where our robot was relative to the line and follow it. For the ultrasonic sensor, those output a digital pulse, so just uh, on or off and it output a pulse length proportional to the distance from the object. And we we're able to use the Arduino pulse in function to measure the length of that pulse and know how far away from the object we were. When selecting actuators, we ended up selecting servo motor to go and enable a wall to move up and down inside the course, and then DC motors in order for the robot to actually move along the course as it was guided. For the system design, we designed the robot first by choosing the sensors to achieve the goal desired. Then we proceeded to identify what each sensor needed to be able to do via the flow chart. And after completing those two tasks, we were able to assemble a robot in a way that would allow each sensor to function properly in order to accomplish the set goal. Uh, and then looking at the final system, you can see we had the Arduino Uno in the back with the breadboard in front of it. Hidden behind that ultrasonic sensor is an H bridge. Uh, and then we had two DC motors and three reflective proximity sensors. We didn't end up using that center reflective proximity center because it uh, caused errors in our code. And then looking at the competition itself, the goal is to follow a line and to avoid uh, running to that wall, which you'll see it'll move towards the end. A robot's on the left in blue. It'll stop right before the wall and the wall will lift up and it'll uh, continue on its course. All right. Um, the entire team had to work together in order to develop our robot and the associated tasks with our robot, um, including writing the report um, and that process, designing the actual robot, uh, building the robot, building the course and developing the code for the robot. Um, so this was effectively delegated among our different team members uh, so that we'd be able to meet the goal. Um, and we had to use effective communication uh, during the delegation process to ensure that we were uh, telling our teammates exactly what it was we needed so we were all on the same page. And naturally during the teamwork process, um, we encountered some need for conflict resolution. Um, and in times of conflict, uh, such as when we weren't sure about a design decision or uh, two people disagreed um, about something, 
we were able to look at these conflicts um, and take a step back from the actual situation um, and look at our alternatives objectively, um, bringing forth the evidence of both the positive and the negative. Um, and from that, we were able to determine what the best path forward would be, and we could all be in agreement. Here we show our references uh, for where we um, got our physical robot parts for a building. Um, and with that, we will wrap up our presentation. Thank you so much for your time today. I think I'm still recording. Okay. Let me stop recording. There it is.